In this training video, we're going to look at the controlling connection points and adding connection points to Visio shapes. So right now, I've got a what's called under brainstorming shapes. So I've got a brainstorming stencil, and I've got a main topic, which is this project management. And then I've got lots of topics, which are on the left and on the right, as well as a, a multi-topic down the bottom right. Now I'm trying to connect these to the main topic but for example i've got the a wavy connector attached to the first topic now if i try and connect this to the main topic as i start getting closer it shows me there are only eight connector points there's three little gray dots on the top of the shape of the oval three at the bottom as we can see one left one right so that's eight in total but now I'm going to let go of this wavy connector shape. So even though we've got eight connector points, we've actually got six topics on the left hand side. A further five on the left on the right hand side plus a multi topic. So in effect, we've got 12 shapes we want to attach to the top to the main topic, but only eight connector points. Now, the only option now would be to bring these kind of connectors towards and start doubling up. You'd start doubling up on connector points to make them connect effectively. So the reason for connecting is if the shape moves, so does the line go with it. That's, that's the benefit of connecting to these connector points. So I'm going to add more connector points here to give me the ability to add more of these connectors to connector points without doubling up on any of them. So to do this, you've got to, I, I select the shape first. I change the zoom now to make the zoom much bigger because this can be quite fiddly work. So I'm going to change the zoom to, I'm going to go for 75%. So that lets me concentrate now more on the main topic. And to control the connector points, it's on the home tab. In the tools section of the ribbon, there's an X. When you turn this X on, the second paragraph is what's important, where it says hold the control key and click where you want to add, move or delete a connector point. So as soon as you turn it on, you've got to go to the, to the shape and then hold the control key and then click around the, sh the shape where you want your connector points. So I'm going to turn the X on now. And now you can see the little grey dot showing the connector points. But I'm going to move my mouse on the outside of the the blue oval, hold my control key down as the paragraph instructed me to do and now you, you'll get a little hazy kind of X symbol. Now this X symbol, I'm going to click just on the outside of the, of the blue oval all the time so I've got my control key held down and I click and then you get a red dot and the red dot means you connect it, you form the connector point. So I'll try again, there's another red one, another red one so I'm going to put a couple on. Some of them I put inside the shape book and change these afterwards. That's better. Okay, the one is inside the shape, I can click on and I can delete. There's one gone. Another one, don't like that one. Delete, so I'm doing a clicking on them and deleting them. Another one there, it turns red, delete. I'm going to put one or two more on. Just click correctly. There we go, that's better. Maybe one more here. Yeah, I don't like that one, that's just a bit too much inside the shape. So I'm going to click on it. And I'll delete it. That's where I want it, just there. 
it's just going inside the shape a little bit so you can always click on them and delete them i'll delete that one i think i've got enough i've got enough few in it to get, get me going so i've got more now so if i look around i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, I've got 15 of them now. So that's plenty for the shapes that I've got. As soon as you've finished with the connection point tool, you've got to go back to your mouse, pool, mouse, mouse pointer tool to turn the, to get your mouse back. So point the tool, will get my mouse back. Now I can start, I can change the zoom to the standard zoom now, which is a whole page. And now if I start pulling the connector points, I can see how many connector points I've got to choose from now. So I can put one there, here and I can move them around a bit. And I can just copy this. This way we connect a couple of times to connect some more. So I'll just do one and a couple more. connect that to there this one I'll move to there just get the shape back a bit This one I'll move to there. And you get the idea of how it's working. So this and um, connectors connected with connector points after I've added extra extra connection points. So this completes the video on adding connection points and also deleting one or two if they go out, out of sync. And do this effectively by changing the zoom, make the zoom bigger. You've got to go to the home tab, turn the X on for the connection points when you've done that. Hold your control key down and click on the outside of the edge of the shapes to actually get extra connector points. But this completes the training video on connection points and adding more connection points to a individual shape. But you can also do it for many, many different shapes. But this completes the training video on adding, deleting and controlling connection points for Microsoft Visio shapes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.